Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install and configure VMware ESXi 6.0. For this tutorial, I'm using a Dell PowerEdge 2950 virtualization ready. I need to say that because not all servers are designed for ESXi. First, I need to enable virtualization in the BIOS. To access a BIOS, in this case, is F2. Once in the BIOS, CPU information, enter. Virtualization technology. In this case, it's already enabled, so I'm not going to mess with it. In your case, it might be different. Not all BIOS are the same. Now, before I restart, I'll plug in the ESXi installation media, in this case, a USB. If you want to learn how I created this uh, bootable ESXi USB, the link is in the description box below. Now, once plugged in, all that's left is for us to reboot and boot from that USB. In this case, I'll press F11 for boot menu. Using the arrow keys, I'll select hard drive. And then select front USB, USB flash disk. Select it and press enter. Now, I'm going to visualize the process for better video quality. Here, select ESXi 6.0 standard installer. Press enter. Okay, press enter to continue. F11 to accept the terms. Now, my total volume in this case is 873 gigs. This is a RAID 5. I can choose to install ESXi on that RAID 5 or the same USB I have the installation files. In this case I'll select the default RAID 5, it doesn't occupy that, that much space and press enter. Select US default and create a new root password. Once you finish creating that password it'll start installing ESXi 6.0. Once done, reboot. Once you uh, finish rebooting, let's customize the system by pressing F12, enter the root password, and here select Configure Management Network, IPv4, or oh, if you're using IPv6, then select IPv6. In my case, it's IPv4, and then assign a static IP address. Once done, press enter to save. In this case, I'm going to leave it regular dynamic. Remember, I'm virtualizing the process. And under DNS configuration, select a primary DNS and add a host name. In this case, avoid errors dash one because avoid errors is already being used. Once done, you'll probably be prompted to restart. Upon restart, that's it, you have fully uh, set up your ESXi and we can remote in using vSphere. Now all that's left is for you to go to configure and then license features click on edit on the right and add your free license key given by VMware. Thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below. Hey, if you want to watch me create a bootable ESXi USB installer, click on the thumbnail on the screen. If you would like to see more video tutorials like this, please subscribe. Thank you.